So one of the easiest things and the things that people jump to right in the beginning is, well, I wanna compare my rates. I wanna make sure that what I've contracted is what I'm actually paying. And that's true, you need to do that, but that's really a surface level. There's a lot of nuances within the contract that need to be captured. Things like, and just a couple of examples, volume discounts. What is applicable to a volume discount? I have one client who routinely, for some reason, excludes certain items from their volume discount. So that calculation needs to be taken into account. And if you don't do it properly, you could be leaving millions of dollars on the table. Another one is, especially if you're dealing with TNM or staff AUG, limits on the hours worked. We have double dipping, that's a no-no, but sometimes it can easily be missed if the sales are not structured properly or if the contract doesn't give you the mechanism to say, I need timesheets and I need people's names. So those kind of things you need to dig into and it's much more than just what's the rate. That's where good supplier management comes in. You have the discipline, you have the processes, you have the expertise to really pull the contract apart and understand where are my costs going and then making sure that it matches up the data from your AP system or PeopleSoft or wherever.